But I'm so happy to be here. I mean, we've spent the last the last few weeks hardcore building furniture, clearing out this space. I think if people at home right now they could see what this space looked like just uh, a month ago, they would be surprised that uh, <laughs> that we're that we're in here right now. But welcome everybody, welcome to this webinar, our very first webinar. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to 20X your conversions with the power of live shopping. My name is Corey Morris, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Elisa, and I have this wonderful job of helping you, our friends, understand what live shopping is, but also get you as passionate about it as we are. And with me in the new Elisa studio today, are Christian and Johnny. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, thank you very much, Curry. My name is uh, Christian. I'm CEO of Elisa and I have been looking forward to this because we have attended a lot of uh, webinars, podcasts, uh, scenes uh, at, uh, at different fairs, but I think it's uh, super interesting that we now have the opportunity to do it ourselves. Now we have our own. Yeah, and in the future mm -hmm. I hope that we will have a lot of guests coming in as well because of yeah. course we know a lot about live shopping yeah. but I think there are a lot of knowledge out there that could be interesting to uh, to gather here. Yeah, speaking of guests, we're actually trying, this is a whole new concept for us, mm. so we're actually trying to bring in one of our guests, although Johnny's not really a guest. Are you, Johnny? Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Nah, not really. I, I've been in Eliza from pretty much the start though uh, and today I'm, I'm sitting in Sweden today but I'm head of the Nordic sales teams. So literally me and my sales team, we've been helping hundreds and hundreds of, of customers, variable from uh, small to big customers, uh, into this universe of, of live shopping. And I'm very excited to be here today to share some of the stories and some of the knowledge and know-how that we, we learned over the years. Yeah, so we're bringing in the A-team today. We're going to be talking about live shopping at a high level. We're going to be talking about how it boosts conversion, it boosts sales, does a lot of good things for you and, and your uh, business. If you see us looking around a little bit, that's because we're also testing of this <laughs> things. Maybe we're going to be looking at the cameras a little bit, so apologize for that. Mm. But really, just to get things started, uh, let's go back here. So yeah, there's front screen. Great. Uh, we would love to know where you guys are watching from today, so feel free to drop that in the comment. I do believe today's audience is going to be a global audience. Mm -hmm. There's lots of people who signed up, and I can see they were coming in from, from all around the world, which is great. Uh, also, if you guys have a question, then feel free to drop it in the comments. We'll try our best to get to it during the show, but we do have an action-packed program today. And if we don't get to it, then uh, we'll try our best to answer your questions in the comments. But, and again, and even afterwards, feel free to re-watch this on demand and share it with your friends and colleagues, because as we know, sharing is caring. Great. Um, also, I have brought uh, Dr. Mr. Burns with yeah. me. So Christian, if there's something we talk about today, Johnny, unfortunately, you're not going to get a chance to talk or to interact with Mr. Burns today. But I've told Christian that if there's something that he finds really, really interesting or excellent, then he's allowed <laughs> to take out Mr. Burns and press the excellent. I got this about 15 years ago in a Burger King meal, I think, and it has been with me over the years. Absolutely love it. Now, if there's something that we don't like today, we're going to use Darth Vader. So, Christian, if there's something you really, really don't like, mm -hmm. thumbs down. Yes. That's Darth Vader. Johnny, if you feel the same way, we'd be more than happy to do this for you. So just <laughs> yell Vader or yell Burns. All right, yeah. great. On that note, let's dig in. So today's talking points, just so people know what we're going to be diving into, obviously the introduction now. We're going to give people a high-level overview of what is live shopping. Then we're going to talk about why it's the future of retail. Yeah. But we're going to go one step further. We're going to talk about specifics. How are retailers and brands winning? We're going to talk hardcore numbers here. Mm -hmm. And then we're actually going to go a step even further. We're going to look at actual brands, actual retailers who are using it today. We're going to look mm -hmm. at how they're driving value with it. And then obviously, uh, we're going to give you the tools, tips, and tricks to get started yourself. So we're gonna to try to pack that in with the next 30, 40 minutes. Um, so let's get started. Anything you wanna add before we get going? No, I'm ready. I, uh, I'm super ready. All right, Thanks. cool. All right, let's do this. So what is live shopping? There's yeah. lots of terms being tossed around right now, right? Yeah, there is video commerce, uh, live content, and a lot of different things, but I think 
the word live shopping is uh, mainly because it is video that is going on in real time, so mm -hmm. it's live. And then um, from our perspective and right now, the purpose is in the end some kind of sales, right? So it right. could also be live sales, live shopping. But we also see that many brands and retailers are going more and more over to different kinds of content. Uh, sales is at the end mm. the, the goal, right? But there is also a lot about uh, different kinds of engagement features as uh, competitions or guest stars and brand building and so on. So it's not only showing a product right. and a price right. and a description of right. it. We have right. a lot of different things around uh, live shopping. Great. Yeah. But there is so much to There's say so much more. about what live shopping is. Yeah. yeah. So imagine being able to do these things with your live shopping, right? Yeah, so First of all. Yes. So this is three of the things that are really important when we talk about live shopping. Because live shopping can bring awareness, right? So you can go out to a, a very huge audience at once. And that's quite normal for marketing efforts, right? right? But here with live shopping, you can take them through the, um, the sales uh, funnel quite easily because you can get their interest, they can ask questions, you can answer their questions, or you can come with, with the information that you know that they need, and then there is the conversion at the end. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes it's uh, price, so other times it's... Uh, it's just inspiring people to buy uh, some kind of product or some kind of service. And, uh, and you can make a, a lot of different things here in order to, to get them through this uh, sales uh, cycle. Yeah, we're typically, we typically call this the AIDA model. Here we're mm -hmm. calling it the IECA model, mm -hmm. or actually the IEEC mm -hmm. model. Yeah. But I think most people get it awareness, interest, consideration, and conversion. Mm. And the, the, the amazing thing is, is that you're able to do this often within like a, a one hour, less than one hour yeah. a live, exactly. live shopping. Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, so what else we got here? Yeah, and then live shopping is um, a way for you as a brand or a retailer to get closer to your customers, right? Because... This is almost as being together in real life, mm. as we are sitting here, but right. we also have Johnny with us and you uh, behind the scene here as well. So the more we can engage with our uh, customers, the more they can have time with the brand. That's a lot about, a lot, or that's a lot of the benefits about live shopping that you can put a face and identity and a lot more into your brand that you can do on a normal web page. And right. I think it's also um, a great way to differentiate yourself from competitors, for example. You can have the best converting uh, web shop in the universe, you can have a great brand, but going live just adds something extra to, uh, to your way of working. Well, yeah. if you ask me, I think it adds the human element, which I think we've yeah. been missing for, for so many years in, mm -hmm. when it comes to, to e-commerce. And there's also one other thing as well, which is also speaks to the topic of yeah. today's webinar, right? Yeah, and I think this is also something that Johnny experienced with his uh, customers because this is this is one of the things that especially our new colleagues mm. are being very surprised about is how effective it, it is. So we can say a lot about you can have a thousand of viewers on your shows, but when they see how many of uh, these people who convert and actually buy something from the shows, they are... Uh, not surprised, but quite amazed. I think they're amazed, yeah. yeah uh, of, uh, I think most people are like, see. oh, those numbers can't be, they, mm. they can't be true, but, yeah. but actually they are. We're gonna dig into them a little bit mm -hmm. later because we have some customer cases we're gonna be, gonna yeah. be talking about. I can say even working with sales that often when I speak with the e-commerce managers and they're like, okay, so what's the conversion rate? And we mentioned some of the conversion rates. They're like looking at me and like, really Johnny, come on, give us the true, true yeah. numbers. And I'm like, that is the true numbers. And when they then experience it for themselves, they come back to me and like, you aren't lying. These these numbers are just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's almost too good to be true. And I think I even got some pushback when we actually used this title for the webinar today. People were like, yeah, yeah, BS, whatever. There's no way you're going to 20x your conversions. But to be honest mm. with you, you, you can. And we're going to talk about that as well. All right, so let's, uh, let's move forward. Um, this is kind of, so there's lots of definitions floating around mm -hmm. right now about what live shopping is, or some people are calling it social commerce, as you mentioned mm -hmm. before. This is kind of the definition that we like to work with. So live shopping is a live video broadcast where hosts can showcase products, can talk about products and services, 
and users. This is really the unique part. The users on the other side can interact with the host, but they can also interact with one another. So it becomes a shared slash community experience mm -hmm. and they can buy things. Yeah. And I think that's, it's really important for us to actually nail down a definition because some of you who are watching today may be completely new to live shopping. Maybe this is the first time the idea of live shopping has kind of popped up on your radar. So this is at least how we're thinking about it, right? Yeah. Uh, but there's also another way of thinking about it, right, Christian? Yeah, or it's, it's quite uh, important that we state that when we talk about live shopping, we are talking about one to many definition because there is also a, a definition of a one to one live shopping. And that's more when you have a, um, what should I call it? When you have like a one-to-one -one conversation. It's like on a website, product. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, so so when, when we are talking about it, it's about one or several hosts who are talking or speaking with uh, hundreds or thousands of, uh, of viewers at, uh, at one time. Yeah. And it's also, there are also uh, different uh, characteristics about one-to-many. For example, you want your viewers to participate, engage, and at the end buy right. And you also want to try to create a community among the viewers. And, uh, and I think the uh, triple E's here, engaging, mm. entertaining, and educating, is also some valuable parts Absolutely. of the one-to-many uh, live shopping. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think up here, if you guys look in the top right, it is, it's the one, if you, if you really want to just to, you know, come with a, a concrete idea about one to, what one to many actually represents. Here, for example, these, these, uh, these, these two from Ida are actually talking to, what, 707 people. Yeah. And it's almost the equivalent of having 707 people on your website at the same time, yeah. having, a, having yeah. a conversation with them, or even better, <laughs> having 700 people in your store. Yeah, I think it's more like that, exactly. Yeah. And we have, it's a case that will uh, come up later, but they have, uh, I think when they go live on Eric's, they have uh, more than uh, uh, 1,500 that watch right now, yeah. and then 30,000 who have been into the show at some point. Is it how many? Uh, how many again? 30. 30,000. Yeah. Oh wow. So so they are always saying to me, imagine if we should uh, service uh, more than 1,000 people at yeah. our store or 30,000 visitors in uh, two hours. Yeah. So, um, what I also like about this picture, we don't have to stick on it, stick mm. with it too long, but look, look at the simplicity of it. It's basically them, the backdrop is fairly simple. They have uh, their clothes on hangers, mm. a nice little plant, so it doesn't have to be super complicated either. No, not at all. And you can use all kinds of backgrounds and mm. it's also up to what kind of theme yeah. you are going to have on your live because if it's a sales theme, then it's, uh, it could be a thing to be in your warehouse because you want to show we have a lot of products and we have uh, great prices. I think uh, the one we just saw is a product drop. Yep. So you are presenting new items and therefore you just want to uh, be focused on these new items and uh, the description of them and say how it fits and yep. so on. Yep. Yeah. And that's also really important. That's a great point that you yep. brought up before, Christian, with all these customers in the store. And it's called live shopping, right? But there's so many spillover effects that often people don't think about. For instance, like the brand awareness, your top of mind of your customers, people have now been to you, your homepage and they can come and revisit them because often the case you have a cookie on them. It can also be a, if you have a physical store, people see and you engage them on the live show and that triggers the interest. So they go to the physical store and they shop there. And all these is just, it's part of live shopping as well, but it's more like a spillover effect. So there's loads and loads of, of different benefits coming out of it. That's a really good point, Johnny. Really good point. All right, guys, so moving forward, let's look at the next topic is why we think it's the future of retail. Mm. So actually, let's, let's, let's start by looking at some of the, the most recent numbers. This was from a New York Times article just last week, if I'm not mistaken, where they're actually talking specifically about how investors and consumers are leaning in, to use that term, live shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, the latest numbers that the U.S. just this year along, it's, it, it's expected to be a $32 billion market. And that actually kind of pales into comparison when looking at China, which is expected to be a $647 billion market this year alone. Uh, obviously, the origins for those who've been working in the space for a while, they know that it did come from China. 
uh, in earnest maybe around the pandemic mm -hmm. as well. But another exciting thing is like where are companies starting to invest in this in terms of investors? And almost $400 million in investments in the U.S. in, in companies like ours, which mm -hmm. I think also speaks to the technology, but also the long-term growth and potential. So people are really not only looking at this in terms of having it on their radar, they're also putting a lot of their money behind it and high expectations as well. Anything mm -hmm. you guys want to add to this? Yeah, I just want to add that when you when you see any kind of analysis or report about the future in terms of e-commerce and retail, uh, they all have on their top 10 or top 5 list over future trends or trends at the moment is that video is just growing. Yeah. So I think video commerce and especially live commerce is, uh, is really a part of the future and, and we can see right now that those who adapt this trend is also the ones who are uh, yes who are who are setting a direction for uh, their business and uh, yeah and so on so yeah the innovators really, the pioneers yeah exactly yeah, absolutely but it also absolutely. makes a lot of sense because if you look at the next generation the generation x and the generation y they're shopping differently than my generation which i'm a little bit older here right but they shop differently they, they had an ipad and an iphone and stuff like that since growing up so they're used to being online, they're on social media, they're used to online shopping where the older audience uh, uh, generation, they're getting into that as well because mm. the trend is just on flowing. Yeah, so, it's almost uh, like so, e-commerce is kind of moving their product offering to where most people are, at least where the future mm. generations are, are going to be. 100%. That's, that's a really good but, point. But it is quite interesting, Johnny, because it's... it's um, it's not only the young generation who are driving this trend because we also see that your, mine and other generations also take live shopping uh, to them because it, there is so much trust that is created when someone is going live and that they speak about the product or service and so on. And I think that's a really important part because mm. my uh, mom and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and her generation it's really into live shopping when I look at our market in Denmark and also in Sweden where you are represented, right? This is a, it's huge for that generation as well. Because a lot of those are on Facebook as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Your mom's generation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool. Exactly. All right, guys, in the interest of time, let's move forward. So uh, Christian and Johnny, you guys just want to, we don't have to touch on all of these, but these are just more reasons why we think this is the the future of retail and this is more just from the cons consumers side mm -hmm. right i mean this is what people have been yearning for for forever mm -hmm. kind of talk about some of these and what they mean to you yeah so first of all i think uh, the storytelling in the middle is super important because uh, we have a lot of different verticals who are using live shopping successfully and you can put storytelling into all of them. So for example, we have uh, a lot of wine sellers mm -hmm. and uh, they have the possibility to take a bottle of wine and talk briefly about it, what they like about it and give you a price if you buy six bottles or something like that. And that gives the uh, consumer the opportunity to quite fast figure out what bottles should I have for my next summer party. And I also get a story that I can sell to my um, to my uh, guests to your guests yeah, yeah exactly yeah, absolutely. and uh, and i think that's a that's a big part of it the storytelling in terms of brands and products you sell you you really want to put something into it and even if it's a plain black shirt like mine you can tell a lot about it you can say how it fits you can try it on you can say what the fabric is mm. And all these kinds of what things. happens after you wash it yes yeah how easy exactly. it is to iron what is the brand where the, where it made and so on sure. and you can ask me questions as yeah. well if we are two two hosts yeah at once yeah. so let's give that a <laughs> excellent <laughs> love it love storytelling mm -hmm. okay uh are there are any of the other ones here you guys want to want to dig into a little bit i'm really big on the engagement because it, it gives you the opportunity to engage directly with your consumer that's sitting at home in the couch and watching the show, right? They can write you a, a message directly in the commentary section and you can then uh, answer directly on it as well. And it gives that kind of credibility, you know, like it puts you as an expert, it puts you as like, ah, oh, it's 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 not just a store that I go into and I don't know the name of the salesperson. When I go to the store, or I am on the e-commerce homepage, I kind of know the person, you know, I had a conversation with them, kind of feel like familiar. And because I have that, it's much more easy for me to put the product in the basket and actually buy it, you know? Yeah. Couldn't agree more. 
So listen, uh, we're not going to... Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Awesome. I think we can do excellent. We can do Mr. Burns <clears throat> for, for all of these. Um, I'd love to know you guys at home, out of these uh, six categories here, which ones do you love the most? So drop your, uh, drop your comments uh, in the comment section and, uh, and let us know. All right, moving on. The evolution of retail or the revolution mm -hmm. of, uh, of retail. Uh, this is really cool. I love how we kind of put things up on a timeline. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, guys? Yeah, so from, from my perspective, the, the, the most important thing to stay, state here is that if we look at e-commerce, especially over the last 20 years, there have not been a huge uh, development. Of course, the, right. the experience is, is way better than it was uh, 10 years ago, but it's still uh, often the grid you, you see. So you go to one kind of category, maybe a shirt, right? Mm. And then you see uh, if, uh, hundreds of different shirts, mm. and then you can select and sort them out and so on. And it's not a very interesting experience. No, it hasn't right? evolved very much either. No, exactly. And I think here, social commerce and personalization and creating experiences where you can um, what's called inspire people to buy something yeah. or choosing the right product is yes. really uh, that's so important yeah that's so important mm -hmm. but I also thought you know social commerce making more of a social experience instead of bringing more physical bodies into physical stores which is obviously becoming more and more expensive mm -hmm. and we don't want people traveling that much for environmental reasons mm -hmm. but we still want I mean, at the end of the day we're humans right so it's all about bringing being together with other people and mm -hmm. then just moving that to an online capacity. I think that's, that's, that's great. Yeah. But also creating experiences, unique experiences mm -hmm. and being able to, to harness like technology and to create these digital experiences with building gamification and things like this. Johnny, do you have any thoughts that you want to add here? Yeah, it gives you the opportunity of really standing out from the crowd because you can personalize it exactly as you want it, right? Yeah. And, and it, a lot of people are always asking me like, oh, isn't it difficult to get started? And, and like, I'm not so technical and stuff like that. And when we show them the program and they're, they're so amazed how simple it actually are, the simplicity to watch it. And they're like, oh, I should, I should have done this long time ago, but fear was holding me back. Right. And there's another term that's being tossed around right now. It's called when the physical meets the digital. Let's mm. call it fidgetal. Um, this word's actually been used quite a bit. Uh, I think it even was used like when talking about the metaverse and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but I do think that's kind of what's happening, right? We're bringing more of the retail and, and the, the traditional e-commerce experiences together in a way, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I think that some of the uh, competencies that, uh, that uh, if you're good at having a physical store mm -hmm. is actually some of the things that now also are important when you have a digital store because you can be good at SEO, you can be good at the, at the social media marketing and so on, but to be a great host at a live shopping show, for example, is actually mm. skills that you often have from a physical store because you are used to meet... Um, yeah. uh, Meeting customers. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I also think that the development the last uh, five years where webinars, video meetings, uh, video in general on social media have, have just become more and more um, a thing and therefore when you go live it's also almost as being together right yeah. so we all we all know that it's not exactly the same but we are using in our private life FaceTime and so on more and more so I think also there have been a development in our minds in yeah. terms of what is yeah how it is to talk to uh, to people. It's an uh, approximation, I mean. Yeah, yeah I think exactly. that's great. Cool, Johnny, uh, any comments on this? No, just on the host part, you know, as, as we see as well, host has developed. Like, if you look at people going live the first time and the 10th time, they develop their own style and they yeah. figure out what works, what don't work. So yeah. over time, shows are just getting better and better and the hosts yeah. are getting better and better. I think that's a really good point. And for someone like me who's been working for branding and branding and marketing for the last 25 years, I see this as a natural extension of, of your brand identity and, ju and just another opportunity, yet another opportunity to, to differentiate your, uh, your brand from, from your competition mm -hmm. uh, in a much more powerful and human, human way. Okay, all right guys, we're, we're making progress. Now we wanna dig into how retailers and brands are winning. Yes. 
Excellent. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's talk specifics here. All right? Yeah. And we got a whole bunch of things that we're going to throw at you. Mm. First of all, the reason we're here to talk about is conversions. Yes, exactly. But I'm not sure if we can uh, go through all of them. Should we just get them all up there? Yeah, or do you I think do? so, because it's it's a bit like the other one yeah, cool. where we had a lot on it. But of course, conversion is, is a big part of this. And we have cases where you... Um, where you on a live shopping show make the same uh, revenue as you do in one day mm. or in one month, and for some it's uh, it's now twenty uh, percent or fifty percent of your total revenue comes from your live shopping shows, and this is actually uh, e-commerce stores who are only going live one or two times a week, mm. and still they can generate this kind of uh, of revenue. So so conversion is really a big part of it, and if you do live both on social medias on your own web page, then you will do just come out to a huge audience and not only the ones who already know you because on social medias there is an organic effect. Yep. So we can see from our numbers that you all also reach a lot of new customers when you're going live. Yeah, I got so excited about this when I actually went ahead and, and, mm. and pressed it before you finished talking. But what I really love about this is the reduced return rate. Mm -hmm. We've seen this trend over the last few years is that people are just ordering like crazy because it's it's free It's uh, to send things mm. back and forth. But there's a level of information that's being shared here, which which has given the, the people who are using live shopping a reduced return rate. Why, why do you think that is? Yeah, so if we take uh, fashion, as I uh, mentioned before, you have the possibility to see the, uh, the shirt on a real human being and not a, a photo uh, that is made to a magazine, for yeah. example. So, so is that like better, more informed uh, yeah, decisions? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And you can, uh, uh, maybe the, the, the same information mm. is on the web page mm. with text, but it's just a different thing when someone is telling you about it. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's a huge part of it. And now we write average return rate, but maybe we should have ha had an average reduced return rate because yeah. it's different from vertical it's to true. vertical. True. And in fashion, for example, we see a uh, much lower return rate than uh, than uh, than normally because you actually can can try it on. Right. right? Yeah. Right. All right. We also have more revenue. That's a that's a given. Of yes. course. Higher yes. conversions exactly. probably lead to more uh, revenue. I think with the revenue there, if I can just share a funny story though, sure. Because we in, we in the middle of May right now, but like almost every week these days, we're getting people customers calling in and like we just beat a Black Friday week, uh, the the Black Friday numbers that we did, and we're sitting here in in the middle of May in the breaking records. <laughs> it's normally from the best week of selling during mm. the year, right? And we're like, wow. It's just another checkpoint that this this thing's absolutely working. It's it's mm. amazing to see that and good on the customers because they're really making it work. That's a great point, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Really good point. Uh, so two time, two to ten times more views, and I think you were talking a little bit about that before in terms of, of, of pleasing the algorithm, yeah, if exactly. you will. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we can just see that this is also a, a snowball effect, right? So when you build up your live audience, you also build up an um, organic effect because Facebook and Instagram, for example, can see, okay, this company makes great content. When they go live, we will secure that we push it out yeah. to as many as possible on all more and yeah. more people. Uh, so yeah. therefore, even medium sized or small brands can actually have a really high number of viewers during the live and also after the live. Yeah, and, and, and it also because it, it finds lookalike audiences, yes. it also goes out and reaches uh, organically people mm -hmm. who are maybe not your existing customers. And some of our brands, um, a large chunk, a large percentage of the people who make purchases through their live shopping experiences are actually new customers. Mm -hmm. So there's that growth mechanism automatically built into it as well, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, comments. And that's great as well, right? Because yeah. that feeds the algorithm too. Yeah, because we want we want people to engage, yep. right? We want people to engage with the live. Uh, we want them to buy from the live. We want them to ask questions. And when we do lives, especially on social media, we can see that comments are just a way to get the algorithm algorithm work, work for us. Yep. So uh, when we have 100 times, I think sometimes we even have more if we have a lot of competitions mm -hmm. during the live and it's not just competitions where you write uh, participate or something like that in the in the live but we make some uh, quite 
entertaining mm. or informative competitions where people can or viewers can engage and even compete with each other. Yeah. So, for example, we could guess what your um, favorite meal is or right. something like that, right. and then you are in the pool, and then we can find the winner or something Yeah, like I that. find that most brands and retailers, again, use this as a way to differentiate themselves. Mm. So they find that the, the creativity is pretty amazing sometimes in, yeah. in terms of the, the, uh, the games, the gamification. Mm -hmm. And the last one, two to 50 times more contact time. Explain that, Christian. Yeah, so often when, especially when I talk with brands, they have a goal in the strategy about time with the brand. Mm. So they want to secure that their target group have time with uh, their brand and there we can just see that when you go live instead of being exposed for a marketing campaign or a picture or a small video where it's 10 seconds or uh, even less you use mm. then on average uh, the view time is some sometimes 10 minutes or 27 minutes mm. uh, when when the viewers are watching a live shooting show and if that's the average time then there are someone who spent hours with your brand right, right. And that's uh, quite unique. Yeah, it's all about winning mind share, yeah. absolutely, and keeping that, uh, keeping that mind share as well. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, guys, let's move forward. Uh, I think the bottom line is that uh, the equation, as we're calling mm -hmm. it here, is more customers, more loyalty. Bottom line, more revenue. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, I know people have been waiting for this. We have a few case studies, time-wise. I don't know if we should get into all of them as much. Maybe we can just talk at, at a high level about a few of them. But this is really where the rubber meets the road, mm -hmm. if, if you will. And, and the thing is, is uh, there are lots of people operating in the live shopping space today, but there aren't that many who are actually talking specific numbers, in particular revenue numbers. So mm -hmm. we're happy to bring those uh, to you guys today. So where are we starting? We are starting with our good friends Plus P. Yes. Do you want to take this one? Yes, thank you. And Plus P is a fashion store for uh, for plus size women um, and I think their numbers are quite amazing and you can watch them here on the screen but from my perspective it is quite interesting that this is an e-commerce store who started four years ago mm. so it's not a big or a, st a, a, a company with a, a lot of years of experience right. they started four years ago and live shopping have just been uh, a very effective way to go into a market and take market share and I think for their um, uh, target group they are top of mind for mm. everyone mm. because they have just made an interest entrance to the market where they are super personal so yeah. they uh, make a, a weekly live shopping show I think it takes two hours they have 30,000 viewers as it says here right and this is in Denmark, so it's quite a small market. But still, that's But amazing. still, they have a very unique numbers. And we see this, that live shopping can be a very great go-to-market go -to -market strategy, right. both in your own, um, own country and also in, um, in new markets as well. And then their turnover numbers are also quite amazing for uh, for a company of their size. Yeah, right? 160,000 euro in just a single show. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and I'm more interested in their conversion rate as well. Is that real? 96%? Yeah, so the conversion rate here is due to not the number of viewers, but due to the number of people who uh, um, are interested in, in a product. So the way it works for them is that you showcase a shirt and then you put it in the basket. Right. And uh, it is 96% uh, 90, of them who end up buying the product. After they put it in the basket. Yeah, okay, exactly. so so add to basket conversion rate. Yes. Which is insane. Yeah. Okay, well, I first really saw that insane. number when I started, I was like, that, that does, is there a typo there? Yeah. But I guess, I but guess it, it's not. Okay. It is the truth, yeah, it is. And then, yeah, let's look at their total uh, turnover with, with live shopping, which I think is also another fantastic. Yeah, number. and it have, uh, since they started, it have uh, doubled every year. Okay. So now, they don't, do they have a physical store as well? Yeah, they have, but it's not, uh, yeah, it's, it's not called Plus It's, it's, it's another, okay. but, but right. that can be one of the reasons why they also are so good, mm. because they know how to engage with customers. Yeah in the physical world, yeah. and they take that experience into the digital live shopping right. world as right. well. Right, right. Yeah. 
Great. All yeah. right. So that's a good start. Love plus P. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one. This is Power. It's a more maybe of a little bit bigger brand, more well known uh, throughout at least at least Northern Europe. Yeah. So Power is a, a huge electronic retailer. They have both physical stores around uh, the Nordic countries and I also think other countries as well. Here it is uh, the Danish Power's number, but they're also going live in other Nordic Nordic countries with the same results. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. Yeah. Um, but I think the one thing to mention here is that they are really good at making some interesting live shopping shows with a product demonstration, mm. but also with a lot of fun, a lot yeah. of competitions and so on. And on the biggest live shopping shows so far, or uh, with the numbers we know, uh, they, uh, they had a turnover uh, at 2.7 million euro yeah. in a one single show. Yeah. Yeah. Now, separate to Plus P or different mm. than Plus P, they've also built out an entire live shopping studio, right? Yeah. Which is more, it's just, but it's true to their nature as a brand and a. And yeah, a it's a good point. Uh, when we look at Plus P, the, the case uh, we had before, they only use an, uh, an iPhone and maybe mm. a wing light to yeah. do the live shopping shows, yeah. and they don't have a fancy studio, not at all. Right. Power is a different case. They, I think they have uh, done quite a lot of work to make mm. a TV studio yeah. and that fits uh, their purpose Definitely fits and, their the, brand. and the way they want to do right. it right. Right. Yeah. Everything's bigger, better with, yes. with power. I yeah. love it. I love but it. It's a, good, it's a very good point because it's not due to your size no. of a business. It's more due to what kind of feeling or theme do you have with your live shopping yeah. show. Yeah. I think it's all about the experience at the end of the mm. day. Yeah. Good yeah. point. So then we have uh, Naj by Nagy. Uh, Johnny, you want to tell us more about this one? Yeah, this is a very interesting case, I reckon, because it's a physical store in Sweden and it's literally only a 66 square meter store with no warehouse, no web page, uh, anything like that. But the numbers that she's producing is just absolutely amazing. Like uh, what she does of turnover in one live show equals to the same amount that most people they, they'll do in a week in, in the physical store wow. or some stores even a month. We like that. It's, it's, <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's unbelievable. As you can see, like thirty thousand euros on a single uh, on one single live show for two and a half hours, right? That was on a Monday evening. She so went live for two and a half hours and made uh, thirty thousand uh, euros. No, no, uh, knowing that you don't have any e-commerce or uh, anything like that, it, it's just amazing, isn't it? And I speak with 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 uh, Osa, as she's called. It's been an absolute game changer for her for her company. Not only. Is he getting every single week new customers from all over the country, which without a web shop, she will only have the, the local customers coming into the shop. She now is able to sell to the entire country without a web shop. But also, as we mentioned earlier on, she has uh, people queuing up outside her um, outside her physical store when she opens up, literally because they've seen her live shows. They're very interested in coming in <laughs> and visiting the store. And I think a good point here is what, what they're doing good is like, when you come to the store and you visit the store, you get exactly the same as you see on the live show. It's not like they're trying to be different on the live show and, and be, be putting up kind of like a face or something like that. They're ex exactly the same also as you see on the live show. It's exactly the same also that will greet you in the company hmm. uh, when you come in, when you walk in the door. And that's just absolutely amazing. I love how that affects other parts of the business, but what I also love about that story is how empowering a tool this becomes for people who maybe don't have this really high tech setup, the whole web shop setup, but mm. it's like it's giving them nothing. They get a camera, they get an idea, they can stand in front of it and suddenly they have like a huge growth engine for their business. I, I absolutely love that. Yeah, when she started, it was, uh, it was her and assistant and her mom in the store. And uh, now she has a whole setup for, she's starting e-commerce now. And so I think she's more than doubled the amount of employees she has due to live shopping and, and the benefits she got out of That's that. That's wonderful. That's a beautiful story. And Jenny, I also think it's quite interesting that when, when we speak about cases or, or tell about cases, uh, we often get the question, so how is the social media presence? How, how many followers uh, did they have when they started? Because mm. that, mu that must be the explanation, right? But in this case, I remember you have said that they uh, had not a lot of, uh, of followers uh, before they started, right? They just had the, the white followers. Yeah, that, that's correct. They had like uh, 3,000, 3,500 people following them on, on Facebook mm -hmm. uh, when they started going live. And every single week, the Facebook has just uh, exploded. Mm -hmm. So now they're 
close to 10,000, mm. but now they can go both uh, live on, on uh, Facebook and Instagram. But as we mentioned before, every week new people are signing up and, and to their Facebook and to their Instagram. So they're also building the brand on the social media, which means they can be exposed to everything else that they mm. put out there of special offers or, or a, a deals or whatever. Great example of the digital, yeah. I think. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, let's move on. So we have Ida. Uh, Ida is an activewear company. Yeah, exactly. Love them. We just did a customer success story on them, so you mm -hmm. can check that on the website if you want to. But what do we love about Ida? Yeah, so what, what I especially love about Ida, Ida is that they are willing to share a lot of their great numbers, <laughs> not only with... Of course, we have a lot of insights into our users' numbers, but we don't always... Uh, have uh, uh, the opportunity to share it with everyone else. Right. But I think Ida here is, uh, is, is very generous uh, about that. Um, what I love besides uh, great numbers is that they are very, very good at, uh, at using live shopping as um, something to build community, build brands, to get a face on, the, on their, their brand and also Many have uh, many f many potential users of live shopping uh, think that live shopping is only about uh, discounts and deals mm. and so on, mm. but that's uh, not a, not a thing in the, in the either. Yeah, they don't store. do that a lot. No, no. no, not at all. Actually, it's more about product drops and showcasing how you can use uh, our wear in this kind of training and so on. And another thing I also love love this is an. Um, a direct to consumer brand. Yep. They don't have physical stores. It's a, it's an e-commerce uh, web shop. Right. And of course, they have a, a Mede, who is on the picture here. Who, she is She's one, left. She's on left, right? Yeah, yeah. And she is one of the founders. But all the other hosts in this uh, live are someone from uh, from the staff. Right. Ah, okay. So it can be uh, everyone. Someone from their customer service department, from their finance, and so on. I think that's that's just very cool yeah. and uh, very authentic, yeah. which is also very important. And also level information that is hard to decipher from just a typical e-commerce where you're looking mm. at photos and trying to figure out sizing charts, which t to this day I still do not understand. I know mm. they've even tried with these smart algorithms, mm. but never works. Here I can actually see uh, people of different shapes and sizes, yeah. and they talk about what works for them, what doesn't work for them. Yes. Uh, and that's great. That's that level of information that you're probably only going to get if you go to a physical store. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and and then they they make a live uh, for maybe one hour, and the revenue is equivalent to two days, right? Yeah, um, and seventy five percent of those are new customers, right? Yeah, 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 great. So it's really a great way to get out to new potential customers and take market share and differentiate yourself from. Uh, from all other, other companies in your vertical. Absolutely, I love Ida, love what they're doing there. Okay guys, so listen, now there's a lot of people at home right now that are thinking, great, I love this. You've, mm -hmm. you've sold me on the idea <laughs> of live shopping and you've told me how easy it is. Yeah. Is it really that easy? So let's, let's talk some specific ways right now about how people can get started. And mm -hmm. to be honest with you, it actually really is yeah. that simple. Yeah, so Curry, if you had a, website or web shop where mm -hmm. we wanted to go live tonight yep uh, we could do that easily okay. it's uh, how? tell me how so you connect your account to our system okay you set up the event that will that means that you set up what kind of products you want to mm -hmm. showcase tonight and, and where, are, where do I do that how do you do well, that? where do I do that where do I set uh, up in, is that with Elisa yeah okay it's in Elisa because uh, if if you want there there is no uh, default way to make live shopping shows on Facebook and Instagram right. and on your own right. uh, web page. So you need to have a, a solution that can do that for right. you, right? And we integrate to uh, almost every uh, e-commerce platform. So it can be Shopify, WooCommerce and okay. so on. So therefore it takes a couple of minutes to do that. And then I think, but where you should put some energy is of course to think about what is the purpose of my yeah. life? Yeah. Why do I want to go live? What is the theme? What do I want to achieve? Yeah, a lot of these questions right here. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the strategy part and maybe right. the the tactic of why you are going to right. to go live. And I, from my from my perspective, you have to think about it as uh, 
as how you think about other marketing mm. or sales initiatives. Yeah. So, for example, if you have an email marketing strategy, you are not uh, sending the same email every day, right? No. So you need to think about that your live shopping show should also have different themes. So right. it can be product drop, it can be uh, uh, summer, it can be uh, whatever, sales, right. discounts and so on. So there are a lot of, of different ways to do it. And we have a lot of material that can help you in the beginning yep. to uh, take some choices. But it's also important for me to say that right now there is no uh, formula for success that you can just implement. But there is a lot of do's and don'ts. And, uh, yeah. And, and ways of uh, doing it. But the path to get there is, mm. is, is pretty seamless. Yeah. It's pretty effort, effortless. And, and like you said, it's all about getting out there, trying things, testing, testing, mm. testing, and then also using that as an opportunity to evaluate what you've done to learn mm. and then implement that back into your process. But yeah. I think a lot of people are surprised by how easy it is from a technical side to actually get started. But it, yeah, that's, La that's not. I think two weeks ago we had a, one of the biggest uh, baby equipment uh, retailers who called us in the beginning of the week, uh, Tuesday, and said, can you help us with uh, making us ready for a live shopping show first day? So we had two days and they had a self-made uh, web shop. So we didn't have a uh, ready to go integration. So right. we need uh, to develop that. But our our system is... I'm not sure if that's the right word, but not so complicated so mm. we can make an integration. It's to agile, almost the, yeah, yeah exactly. it's very agile. Exactly. And then it's just the preparation, right, that we needed to do and yeah. a bit of a marketing effort. But yeah, uh, and a nice little shout out to Baby Sam. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for coming to Elisa and uh, thanks for trusting us. And mm. it turned out to be a great show yeah. as well. Did. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, we've got the, basically the, the, the key point here is it's, it's super easy, guys. Mm. Um, and I think to Christian's point, it's also really important to talk about your strategy, mm -hmm. get your goals, get them line, uh, aligned. Here's a really good pilot checklist for mm -hmm. you. But our website, just so you guys know, um, it's a treasure trove of resources that you can think about, uh, or not think about, it's a treasure trove of resources where you can use for both considering what you want to do before, during, and after your live show. That's actually how it's divided right now. And there's tons of guides and checklists and things like this. In worst case scenario, reach out to us. We yeah. love, as you could probably gather, having conversations about this and helping brands and retailers figure these things out. Mm. Um, so listen, this is we're kind of nearing the end of things right now, but we'd love to hear what's on your mind. First of all, tell us how we did with the, our very first webinar. Tell us what we can do better. Uh, tell us what we did great. We love some compliments mm. as well. But also what we're really interested in is telling us what else you want to hear about. There are, there are tons of topics out there that we could, we could touch on. So, so let us know. Yeah, were you going to say something? Yeah, just that we know that live shopping and video commerce is quite a new thing for many of you. So I think today was also quite general and an introduction, but it would be nice to dig deeper into some topics that really matters to you guys yep. out there. Even if you are new to live shopping or if you have done a lot of it, it would be nice to, uh, yeah. to have a conversation about uh, a specific topic as uh, as well. Yeah, if there's something you don't understand, if there's a pain point that you're mm. dealing with, then we're more than happy to dig into that. We can spit it out as a as an article, but also really happy to come back in our new content studio and produce a nice little video yeah. about that. But we're also in the planning phase right now for our next webinar series, so would love to have your input uh, on that. So. Uh, want to give you the opportunity to let you know that you can always reach out to us. We have a wonderful team of live shopping experts. Here's some of them on the right side. Um, I think that's actually one of our strengths as a company is that you can actually talk to a human, not who's just not somebody who's just going to try to sell you the product, but also somebody who's going to help you understand how the product is going to drive value for, for you. We're probably more interested in talking about live shopping than we are actually the Elisa mm, product, but mm. they do go hand in hand. Yeah. Also want to give you guys an opportunity to actually try it for free today. Um, so when you do go into the website and you do the free trial sign up, that's a 14 days, no strings attached trial of the product of a Lisa platform. And when you do that, there's obviously an onboarding process that's involved there. It is absolutely free. Let me repeat that. That is absolutely free and you can try it for yourself for 14 days. So guys, before we sign off, 
are there, um, let me get you, sorry Johnny, I got all these buttons over here <laughs> that I'm trying to figure out. Um, any, any, any final comments from you guys? I thought this has been fun. I think, yeah. that, I think we did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> I, think so too. I think so too. I think a lot of people will, might be sitting out there and like super excited and like engaged and you want to do stuff. And a lot of people should just think about just act on it, you know, mm -hmm. just get started. Take that first step. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. You know, that's often the, the things to hear when we speak with people is like, should have done this long ago. It's not nearly as complicated as I thought. It's super simple to use. I get great response back because when you go live and you're like, you're putting yourself out there, kind of like we're doing right now, right? A, a lot of customers is coming back with positive feedback. You're giving so much love from the community around you. So I think don't just sit there and think about what should I do? Get in contact with us. Go to Eliza.io. And, uh, and check it out, you know, call us, send us an email, drop us a line and, and let's take the first step. I could not have said that better myself, Johnny. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, anything else from you, Chris? No, it have, no, it have been fun. Looking forward to next time. Can't wait. Mm. All right, guys. Thanks for chiming in. And uh, we're already started. Uh, the engine is running for our, for our next webinars. But do stay tuned for more. Until then, thanks so much for joining us and have a great day. Take care, guys.